buyer tip number six. So here we are. This is understanding closing costs. Uh, there are actually three different amounts, uh, the amounts of money that you need when purchasing a home. One, earnest money. We talked about that in uh, tip number three. Down payment. This is required as part of your loan, and the amount depends on the type of loan that you have uh, and what you and your lender um, decided, as mentioned in tip number two. And then the third amount of money is closing cost. There are, um, these are the extra line items that you'll see on your closing statement, such as inspection cost, loan origination fees, title work, recording fee for your deed at the courthouse, um, the actual closing cost uh, at the title company, um, the initial homeowner's insurance cost, the lender might require an amount to start off your real estate tax escrow account. So those are all additional items. We'll talk more in detail about what uh, your costs for your transaction um, will be uh, because some of it is dependent on the uh, amount of uh, the full transaction, the, the purchase price of the house. Uh, but generally speaking, I tell people this is typically between a thousand to three thousand dollars, just as a rule of thumb. Uh, there is also something you can ask the seller to cover, um, or this the closing cost is something you can ask the seller to cover. Uh, but we'll need to have a further discussion on that as it can affect the overall consideration of your offer. So there's ways that we can do that to still put you in a good position. Uh, with your offer.